Now let's discuss variables. So if you have done programming before, you should already be aware with the concepts of uh, you should already be aware of the concept of variable. If you are a first time programmer and you are learning programming for the first time, then uh, let me explain what variables are. So uh, you will face certain scenarios in programming where you would require to store a particular value because you would require that in some future part of the program. Okay. So uh, let me explain. Uh, let's say you want to add two numbers, right? And you want to give the user the result by adding those two numbers. So let's say when you are taking those two numbers from the user, you'll have to store them in some place so that in the future you can retrieve them and you can, you know, perform any kind of operation and then you can show user the result, right? So uh, these containers where you store values that you can use in the future are known as variables. Okay. So uh, it's a very fundamental concept in programming. Every programming language supports variables and it's a necessity without variables. You won't be able to, you know, program or you won't be able to build applications. That's a very, very important concept. Okay. Uh, so I hope what variables are is clear. Now we'll also discuss two more topics. The first one of them is dynamic typing and the second one is dynamic binding. Okay. So uh, let me explain them one by one. So if you remember C, uh, in C, before using a variable, you had to create them, right? You had to declare them. So this is the syntax of variable declaration in C, okay? And uh, this is also known as static typing. So what you need to do in static typing is that before creating, before using any variable, you have to first create them. But in Python, this concept is not there. The concept in Python is known as, uh, the concept that is used in Python is known as dynamic typing, uh, where there is no need to create a variable before using it. So according to Python, uh, you don't have to declare a variable. That's it. You can simply use it just like that. I'll show you one example. You can simply write this statement and Python will not throw you any error. A is equal to two print A. So this statement would be uh, completely wrong in C because you are using a variable which is not defined, it's not declared, but in Python, it's absolutely cool. Okay. You can easily do this and uh, Python will not throw an error. This thing is known as dynamic typing. The feature because of which uh, you can use a variable even before declaring it is known as dynamic typing. Okay. The second feature, the second feature is uh, dynamic binding. Uh, I'll first show you what is dynamic binding. Uh, to understand dynamic binding, you have to understand static binding, which is followed in C. I'll show you what it is. Static binding says, uh, let's say if you declare a variable with a data type of int. So now what uh, C will do is it will bind that data type with that variable. So it means that that variable cannot have any other data type in the future. It will always hold only integer values. But in Python, this is again not true because in Python, there's a concept called dynamic bind binding. According to dynamic binding, you can easily do this. Let me show you. Let's say you have a variable a is equal to two. You can easily print out two and then you can come out of the statement and you can write a is equal to, I don't know, India. Right. And you can again print out a and you will notice that uh, you can easily change the data types associated with a variable and Python has no problem with that. Okay. This concept is known as dynamic binding. Again, um, it helps in, you know, uh, writing faster code without taking tension about what's going be behind the scenes. Uh, again, it's a great feature. Uh, I guess you are able to point out certain differences in C programming and Python programming. I would summarize that for you. So writing code in C or Java is like same with your parents where everything is defined. You have to eat your dinner at the dinner table. You have to sleep in your bedroom, watch TV in the living room. But writing code in Python is like staying with your friends. Okay. So if you ask them, okay, uh, can I sleep here? They will say you can sleep in the bathroom. No one cares. Right. So, uh, that's the basic difference. Python is pretty, it's very smooth, right? It, it's like, uh, it, it gives me this freedom to express my logic. And that is why I personally prefer Python over any other language. Okay. So anyways, uh, we just learned 
how to uh, use and uh, how to use variables in python now uh, now let's discuss a very important concept called uh, type conversion